Chester, are you there? Yes, I am, John. Oh, thank you. Sorry. We're just bringing you in live to the programme. Not guilty. Are you surprised by that? Uh, no, and I'm very happy that the court saw it the way I did. OK, so how did you see it? Um, I saw it as completely reasonable and prudent driving in the circumstances, knowing what I knew at the time, which was that there had been uh, threats made and, you know, there was a protest going on outside um, and blocking our passageway. So, um, yeah, that that was the circumstance. And um, I think that that was, uh, yeah, obviously I thought that was a reasonable way to proceed. OK. And clearly the court agreed with you, and far be it from us to disagree with the court. But if we look at the facts in isolation, you are a former policeman, you understand how to handle crowds, there were police officers there, you were inside the car. How great was the risk to you, really? Well, there, there was a, a woman who had been um, pretty aggressive, wandering around with a flag with a wooden staff on it, uh, sort of a baton-sized staff. And uh, I saw that as a threat. There were other things that were there which were also a risk. And um, previously we had had a run-in with protesters, one of them who had climbed on my car. Um, I was wary that similar things might happen again. And these things had all happened previously in the presence, presence of the police. So, um, you know, I was concerned. I mean, yeah, I'm not... Were you, were you concerned, not a, were you concerned or exasperated? Had you just had a gutsful and were you thinking, bugger you? No, and uh, that isn't the way that I think. I'm not a delicate wee flower and I don't take offence easily. Um, and I wasn't panicking. I knew exactly what I was doing and what my role and responsibility was. A fairly tough cross-examination, I understand, from our reporter Robin Martin, who's going to join us later on the programme in court today. Uh, yeah, I thought that was, that was interesting to have a, a senior Crown prosecutor and a junior Crown prosecutor um, uh, prosecuting what they themselves called a routine charge, and I've never seen a Crown prosecutor prosecute careless use before. Yeah, and you've also never had the experience of being on the other side of the process, right? You've prosecuted a great many people yourself. Yep. Clearly, once again, the court was persuaded by the, uh, your defence, and you've been found not guilty. But, yes. the, 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 but the people who were there describe a sense that your behaviour was excessive, that you could have done more to avoid them. Um, well, I, I mean, quite honestly, what the court found was that I drove reasonably and prudently and um, I drove correctly in the circumstances and it was interesting to note that none of the police witnesses criticised my driving, suggested I should have taken alternative action um, in any way at all and the police, the policeman in attendance at the time wrote on his traffic crash report that the entire fault lay with the protesters being unaware of their surroundings and there was nothing about driving speed or um, the vehicle that was a factor in the incident at all. So the police must have known right at the start that there was going to be a reasonable doubt raised and you've got to wonder why they brought prosecution. Do you, do you wonder why they brought prose prosecution? Yeah, I do. And, and have you speculated on the answer? <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine that I have and... Um, I don't believe the decision was made locally, so I, I, I'm a bit frustrated about that, obviously. Where do you think the decision was made? Well, I think it was probably made a long way up, up the tree, um, um, operationally, probably by headquarters in Wellington, which is very unusual for careless use of the motor vehicle. And why would have the decision been made uh, in Wellington? I think probably the police worry about any accusation um, or any any uh, criticism and so they've decided to bring charges uh, as a aversion to uh, risk but you know I was a policeman for a long time and um, I've been a politician for quite a while now and you make decisions take decisions and you stand by them Chester Burroughs, MP for Whanganui, found not guilty in the court uh, today on that careless driving charge, joining us live from outside the court as you hear. It's